Hey guys, it's Kimmy Green 17 and today I wanted to share something that happened last week. My boyfriend and I were sitting on our couch watching some Netflix when I spotted something white in the corner of my eye. I turned my head and saw nothing, but it kind of looked like a mouse who ran towards our TV, so I hoped I was wrong that it was my imagination. And I looked at my boyfriend, but he said, did you see that? So at that point I knew it wasn't my imagination and I said, what was that? He looked back and saw it again and said, it's Diesel! And I was so confused, Diesel? But why, when, how? I had so many questions and I looked at his cage to see if there was a clue. But my boyfriend said, no time for that, let's catch him first. So I crawled on the floor towards our TV and there he was, sitting on our floor looking at me. So I crawled towards him, gently speaking to him, but he ran away to the other side of our living room. I walked to the corner where he went and there he was, washing himself like nothing was going on, just a regular day for him. That was a relief for me, knowing he wasn't freaked out or anything. So I lay my hand next to him and he climbed on it, but he immediately jumped off and ran away to my boyfriend. He tried gently picking him up by placing his hands next to Diesel, but he jumped over his hands as well. But I was fast and quickly grabbed him with both of my hands, hoping I didn't scare him out too much. But I was really happy I got him. I checked him out to see if he was okay, if he wasn't hurt or injured, but he was fine surprisingly, so I placed him back in his cage. He started rolling in the sand and jumping up and down in front of the glass begging for treats. So he wasn't scared at all. At least he had a great time on his little adventure. It was so weird to have him walking around the house. Luckily he was on our floor for less than 10 minutes because 10 minutes ago I saw him in his cage drinking and then 10 minutes later he was on our floor. So the next thing was to see how this was possible. And there really was only one way for him to climb out. His Trixie Temo house. I'd figured he must have climbed on the roof of the house and then on this glass piece of his aquarium. This is to hold a lid if you have one, but his cage doesn't have a lid. And then I guess he jumped down on the table, which is pretty high and dangerous. But he succeeded somehow. But now the most awful part, there's no other way to go down than to just jump. He could have been dead. I really don't know how he was able to jump all the way down and not break a leg or worse. But he was very lucky and somehow landed safely on our floor and started his exploring adventure. So to prevent this from happening in the future, I put this cardboard piece on his tank and he hasn't escaped since. So that was the story I wanted to share with you all. I hope you enjoyed it, at least Diesel did. But thank you for watching and I see you all in the next video. Bye bye!